chemists and welcome back to another episode of Bale's Chemistry. In this episode we're going to look at identifying metal ions. This is 2.6 of the AQA A-level chemistry specification and it's on paper one of your final exams. This topic takes a lot of learning and as there are different colour changes and reactions to make sure you're understood, it's worth taking a bit of time over it and making sure that you've fully got a grasp for it. So let's start with a quick recap of what we talked about in the previous episode. We're focusing our attention in this topic onto four metal aqua ion complexes. That's copper 2 plus, iron 2 plus, aluminium 3 plus and iron 3 plus. The iron 2 plus ions are much weaker acids than the 3 plus ions, which are stronger acids. The copper aqua complex will undergo some substitution reactions with ammonia and the aluminium aqua complex forms an amphoteric hydroxide. That's the recap from the last episode and now we're going to go look at the tests that we can do in this episode. So with those four metal aqua ions in mind, the reactions and colour changes can be summarised in this table. It's a handy revision tool, however I think it really helps to understand the chemistry behind the observations, so you can really get a grasp of it, rather than just relying on remembering it in your exam. We'll now look at each of these four metal aqua complexes in turn, starting with the copper aqua complex. We'll consider each test and the results, and a little bit of the chemistry behind each one. With this reaction with the hydroxide ions then, it will be hydrolyzed and will form a blue precipitate. Remember this is the same whether we use hydroxide ions or ammonia. If we add an excess of hydroxide ions, there'll be no change. But however, if we add an excess of ammonia, we'll actually see that the copper gets substituted. So we'll start to see some of those ammonia ligands on there, and we'll see that blue precipitate now form a deep blue solution. If we add this to sodium carbonate, that blue solution that we saw before will become a green-blue precipitate. Now this is because it's a weaker acid and will form a metal carbonate precipitate. If we consider the iron 2 aqua complex then, it's hydrolyzed by reaction with hydroxide ions or ammonia and forms a green precipitate. There's no change when we add it to an excess of hydroxide ions and there's still no change when we add it to an excess of ammonia. In the reaction with sodium carbonate, again it's weakly acidic so it forms a metal carbonate precipitate which is green in colour. Aluminium is a little different to the ones we've looked at so far. The main reason being is it's not actually a transition metal, so it doesn't form those coloured complexes which we see in the solutions. So all its solutions are colourless and all the precipitates that it forms are white. When the aluminium aqua complex is hydrolyzed with the hydroxide ions or the ammonia, it forms a white precipitate of aluminium hydroxide. This is also amphoteric, so when we add an excess of sodium hydroxide or hydroxide ions to it, it then goes back to forming a colourless solution. If we add an excess of ammonia, we see nothing really happens, there's no change. And if we add it to sodium carbonate, we do see a slightly different reaction to the other two I've already looked at. Because aluminium is a 3 plus metal ion, we have a stronger acid. This means that it reacts with the carbonate as an acid, releasing carbon dioxide, forming water, and forming an aluminium hydroxide precipitate. With the iron 3 plus aqua complex, you might see a variety of colours given to describe the solution. AQA lists it as purple, and it is indeed purple if you look at it as a crystal form. However, it's often seen as yellow or brown when it's in solution. When we react this with the hydroxide ions or ammonia, the solution is hydrolyzed to form a brown precipitate. With an excess of sodium hydroxide and ammonia, there's no actual change. And when we react it with sodium carbonate, it's again that stronger acid, so we form a brown precipitate along with bubbles of carbon dioxide. We can summarise all those in that overview table we started off with. Now it's really important you can remember these colour changes as without them some of the questions on the exam are just simply unanswerable. To summarise what we've looked at in this episode, reactions with hydroxide and ammonia hydrolyze the complex to form a precipitate. Excess hydroxide reacts with aluminium hydroxide as it's amphoteric. Excess ammonia dissolves the copper hydroxide to form a deep blue solution. Two plus metal ions are weaker acids and they form a metal carbonate precipitate when reacting with sodium carbonate, and 3 plus metal ions are stronger acids and they form hydroxide precipitates with bubbles of carbon dioxide when they react with sodium carbonate. And that's it for this episode, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, if you've enjoyed it hit the thumbs up below. I do recommend going back and watching it again because there's lots and lots of different colour changes and equations that you really need to get your head around ready for your final exams.